in this question f is defined by three different pieces and each piece is a polynomial 1 plus x square which is continuous everywhere same thing for 2 minus x which is also continuous everywhere x minus 2 is squared if we foil this out multiply x minus 2 by itself we will have a second degree polynomial continuous everywhere so each piece is continuous everywhere but the function f is defined by three different pieces so the numbers we are interested here are x equals 0 x equals 2 because at x equals 0 and at x equals 2 the function is defined uh, the function changes the shape okay so the first point let's try let's check if f is continuous at x equals 0 okay so the first point let's say x equals 0 this function will be continuous if the limit value at 0 is equal to the function value at 0 okay so we want to find the limit of the function when x approaches to 0 if the limit does not exist the function is not continuous done we don't have to even go for the second step if the limit exists and then we go for finding the function value at 0 and if they agree if the limit value at 0 and the function value at 0 are the same then the function is continuous so uh, limit of fx when x approaches to 0 uh, x approaches to 0 from either side x can approach to 0 from left side or from right side left side means x is less than 0 and when x approaches to 0 from right side that means x is bigger than 0 for x less than 0 we have one piece 1 plus x square when x is bigger than 0 we have another part so we need to consider one-sided limit so for this limit we find one-sided limits because when x approaches to 0 from left we have one part first piece 1 plus x square when x approaches to 0 from right side we need to use the second piece 2 minus x so we find one-sided limits which is limit of fx when x goes to 0 from left side that means 0 from left side we need to use the first piece 1 plus x square okay let's find this limit simply plug in x equals 0 1 plus 0 is square just 1 so left hand limit is 1 at the same time let's find the right hand limit when x approaches to 0 from right side that means x is bigger than 0 so we need to use second piece so limit x goes to 0 from right side the function is 2 minus x okay let's plug in x equals 0 so 2 minus 0 2 left hand limit is 1 while the right hand limit is 2 they are not this they are not equal that means this limit okay we are trying to find the limit this limit does not exist so the function is not continuous or the function is discontinuous at 0 okay so, uh, so the limit let me write limit of the function when x approaches to 0 does not exist okay that means f is discontinuous at the number x equals 0 okay let's go for second number b uh, x equals 2 we do the same thing we need to find one sided limits limit of fx when x approaches to 2 from left side limit when x approaches to 2 from left side so left side means x is less than 2 so we need to use second piece minus x very very close to 2 but less than 2 so 2 minus x now let's evaluate this limit simply plug in x equals 2 so 2 minus 2 0 left hand limit at 2 is 
0 let's find the right hand limit limit of the function when x approaches to 2 from right side x is very very close to 2 but bigger than 2 because x is approaching to 2 from right side so we need to use the last piece for that so limit x going to 2 from right side x minus 2 square simply plug in x equals 2 so 2 minus 2 0 0 square is 0 so let me write over here okay so right hand limit is 0 uh, in this case the left hand limit is 0 and the right hand limit is also 0 that means limit exists and the limit value is 0 okay so the limit of the function when x approaches to 2 regardless of the direction that's 0 okay now this is not enough because for a function to be continuous at a number let's say 2 the limit should exist which is the case here now and then the function should be defined at that number and the function value should be equal to limit value function value means when x is exactly 2 uh, where we are so when x is exactly 2 so we are in the middle 2 minus x okay so the function value at exactly 2 is given by the second piece 2 minus x so 2 minus x we replace x by 2 this 2 so 2 minus 2 which is also 0 oh that means look at this the limit of the function when x approaches to 2 is 0 the limit value is 0 and the function is defined at 2 and the function value is also 0 that means the function is continuous at 2 so this is not a point this is not a number of discontinuity so x equals 2 the function is continuous we are supposed to find the number where f is discontinuous so at x equals 0 the function is discontinuous